Hello submarine friends. Recently I made a video showing how to make this light, this 24,000 lumen LED light. I did mention in that video that I'm very confident it will dive to 3,000 feet. So I want to prove it. So what I did is I built this small version of that light. I did that because that full length light won't fit in my pressure chamber. My pressure chamber is simply a hydraulic cylinder, five and a half inch bore, and I can put a 20 inch long item in it. It has a section of LED circuit board in it with LEDs, so it is a functioning light. One thing that I didn't do a good job of was talk about the oil and the bladders here. So I didn't fill that light all the way up with oil. You have to fill it right to the top. Get as much of the air out as you can. If you can't get every little molecule out, don't worry about it. If you have a little tiny bubble in there, that's okay. These are rubber connectors. When you put the end cap on, don't slide it all the way so that it comes in contact with the acrylic tube. You need a space at least a half inch to an inch between this cap and the acrylic so that the rubber can compress. That compresses the oil, well, tries to compress the oil, and that's what makes it work. So let's put it in the chamber and give this a try. Okay, so here's the cylinder that I'm using for a test chamber. So the first thing we do is we drop this guy in there. Fill it up with water. So now I will set the top section of the cylinder on. There we go. Now I just have to tighten it up. Okay, I've got it all full of water. I've got the plug in it. I've got the airline, which is also full of water connected to the Cornelius compressor. I love this compressor, I just bought it. Oh my God, it's nice to have. So I'm just gonna run this gauge up to 1400 PSI. So that's ex in excess of 3000 feet deep. I'm gonna put this outside and the compressor inside. I know it's safe, full of water, but I'm a bit of a chicken with this kind of pressure. So I'm gonna set that up so that's outside. Okay, I have it set up outside, the pressure chamber that is, and I'm going to run it up to 1,400 pounds. I'm going to have to do it slowly, so I'm going to bleed air off the compressor while it's pumping. So there it is, 1400 PSI. And we'll go have a look outside. And there's the chamber. Okay, so it's been about two hours. The pressure actually dropped down to about a thousand over that two hour period. Must be a leak in here somewhere. So I've cracked this free. And I'm just unscrewing this cylinder right now. And there it is. Okay, let's hoist this out. It's a little bit oily, but that's because there was oil inside the cylinder still. So it looks perfect. So I was 1,400 PSI, probably for one hour and dropping down to 1,000 over that two hour period. So I really can't say. So let's clean it up and try it. Okay, so let's, let's 
clamp her down a little bit here. It's really not that bad. So let's throw some power at it. What do you think of that? Not too shabby, hey? So like I said, 3,000 feet, no problem. So you can see there is actually a small bubble in here, an air bubble. So that's A-OK. -okay. The rubber bellows have enough uh, movement to compensate for that. Probably squeezes it right down to nothing. So to those of you who are subscribing to my YouTube channel, it's very helpful. Thank you very much. Ciao.